Hi guys, and welcome to this video on how to fix the um, sleep of death, where you get the black screen uh, coming off of uh, either Windows Surface Book or Surface Pro. Uh, so if you're like me, um, I've run into this problem several times uh, when putting my machine to sleep, and when you come out of it, you're stuck with this black screen, and you have to hold down on the power button for about 20 seconds in order to uh, do a hard reset uh, to get back into your machine. So this is what I found to be very helpful. Um, don't know if it'll work for you guys, but definitely has alleviated a lot of my pain with this uh, sleep of death that's uh, very common in the Windows Surface line of family products, whether you have the book or the pro. So basically what it boils down to is that it's a it's a thing difference between modern standby and traditional sleep. So a lot of all the surface products um, they use the modern standby, and what um, this allows the surface to do is kind of operate in a very similar fashion fashion of kind of like your cell phone or any type of tablet. Uh, it allows the Windows 10 system to still get data into it while the system's in sleep mode. And a lot of PC and laptops normally have the traditional sleep mode, uh, which is normally uh, known as the S3. So how do I fix a lot of the issues? Um, basically, uh, you know, for us Surface owners, um, you know, we want to try to avoid the, um, the modern standby and go back uh, into utilizing the hibernate mode. Um, and this is known as the S4 state. So this mode is not in the Windows Start menu by default. So you actually have to do some quick changes. And, and honestly, if you go through this video, it took me less than a minute or two to make these changes and, and got my system up and running the way um, that it should. So first thing you wanna do is search for Command Prompt and go ahead and right click on Command Prompt and run as administrator. Once you uh, get the Command Prompt to show up, what you wanna do is type in power CFG space dash H for hibernate space on. And what that's going to do is basically allow you to enable hibernate in your power menu. So now if you hit the power button in Windows 10, you'll see that I have a hibernate instead of sleep. So once you have all that, let's uh, go ahead and go into control panel real quick and a few steps here and we should be good to go. So under your control panel, just go over to power options and uh, in balance mode, I changed my plans. So on both battery and plugged in, um, I set it to never on both turn off display and put the computer to sleep. So we don't want that to happen automatically when you're on battery or when you're plugged in. So make, you, make sure you save those changes and exit out of there. And then the next part is to go over to this option here where you wanna choose what the power button does. So when you click on that, you wanna click on this top area here, change settings that are currently unavailable. And when you do that, it allows you to uncheck these two settings. So by default, Windows 10 on the Surface machines will have these checked. Uh, I like to uncheck them. Um, go ahead and save changes. Uh, let's go back into the uh, change plan in the balance mode again and go over to chan uh, change advanced power settings. And in here, under the power button and lid configurations, when the lid close action and the power button action, you wanna change those to hibernate. So make sure you change that to hibernate for all those options there. And all you have to do is hit apply. And there you go. From now on, your machine, when you close it or you hit the power button while it's on, it's going to go into hibernate and then it's going to come out of hibernation. So you're not going to get stuck in that black screen that everybody's calling the, uh, the sleep of death. So if you think this uh, video was very useful, uh, go ahead and hit that like button and um, I'll you know try to make some other useful tip videos uh, in the future. Thank you.